Alright, let's get started on yet another DIY video. This time, um, something completely different. Not car related whatsoever. Indirectly, but not directly. Um, GoPro Hero 3 came out just recently. So there's some really, really good deals out for the GoPro Hero 2, so I had to pick one up. It's 150 bucks. Couldn't say no to that for the outdoor edition. So I finally got myself a Hero 2. And, uh, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I got a Hummer H2 and I plan on taking it off-road and getting it nice and muddy. And uh, the Hero 2 is just perfect for that. I wanted to play around with some different camera angles and I uh, wanted to make some different mounts besides the typical suction cup mount on the vehicle somewhere. Uh, my truck has a nice little roof rack on it, so I figured I'd mount something on that, get a nice high forward down look on it should be pretty cool when it's done um, trying to think of how I wanted to do that there was some ski pole ideas out there and uh, all sorts of different mounts that were semi half assed some of them were really nice but most of them were just kind of goobered up together so i trying to do two one idea two different ways I got a uh, PVC pipe <clears throat> 90 degree angle and a cap. Um, the idea is that the cap goes on top of that. This goes on the end of it. Drill the cap out. Mount the universal tripod adapter to that. That's one idea. Um, didn't like the idea of PVC because of the flex, so I went all the way up to a one inch, and that eliminated probably about 90% of it, depending how far out I'm going to have it hanging from the vehicle. It might still flex, so um, I like metal stuff. I got me a one inch square tube <clears throat> aluminum as well. It's three foot long. The PVC is five foot, so I can extend that quite a bit. And it's a lot lighter, so I can carry it. Um, the aluminum, nice and sturdy, should eliminate a lot of the flex, if not all of it. So I'm going to do the same thing with both vehicles. So for both of these setups with uh, some stainless steel screws, just so they don't rust, because I plan on getting them dirty and wet, uh, a nut, and then a couple other screws here, sheet metal screws that I picked up. Um, I was going to drill these pieces and drive the screws through them. So if I break it or I want to adjust the angle or replace it with a different piece, I can un just unscrew it and take it apart versus uh, bonding them with the glue, the primer and the glue, which is, once you do that, it's done. I mean, it's there. I wanted to have a little versatility, have some options later on down the road. So I'm just going to drill some holes and put the screws in there. Um, the thing you got to do with that is obviously sand the surface, but we'll get to that. All right, let's get okay, started. So you take your one inch square aluminum tubing, find your center that you want to drill at. I went in three centimeters, and then the middle was one and a half. Sorry, go in centimeters because I'm just metric that way. The tripod mount is three centimeters white. It's a one and a half. It's going to give you your center, so that should clear nicely. Okay, scribe it with a little punch needle if you got one. Those things are priceless. If you don't have one, get one. Then uh, the screw that goes in here is a quarter inch by 20. And the one I'm actually using for that one inch, obviously, is a one and a quarter. Use the button head just because I like Allen head bolts. Like I said, it is stainless, which might cause some corrosion on aluminum, but it's not going to rust stuck on you. Alright, get to drilling. Okay, so I drilled the hole. Put the one and a quarter inch bolt through there already. Worked out real good. The length is perfect on there. I don't know if you can see it, but I uh, cleaned up the drill a little bit. Go through there with a quarter inch drill bit, and then just tap it a little bit with the biggest one you got kind of deburr it a little bit and uh, feed the 
it through there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Especially left hand. Okay, got right, it. Then. So this is your universal tripod mount. Bolts on that nicely. So there is, there is my mount. This can go straight on the roof rack, mounted on. I might draw some holes, a few of them just to maybe have some to go through for zip ties or bungee cords. I'll get that figured out and post it. I drilled the holes in the PVC tubing as well. Did a cap. It's on my corners. So I'll put the set screws in here. I sanded the tubing a little bit just to loosen it up slightly, give it some room, make it a little easier to come in and off. And I didn't, it didn't exactly force it on there, so it comes off fairly easy. The screw is what's going to secure it. Okay, so here's the finished mount on the PVC. There's the screws. the allen bolt went through and that on top that's nice and tight it's not going anywhere these two shirts are not going anywhere so now we gotta just go try it out oh all the materials in here that I chose were 20 uh, with taxes was under 20 bucks the only reason it was even that high this little aluminum square tube was 11 and a half of it so the PVC tube itself is really just dirt cheap. And the fact that I went with stainless steel hardware instead of regular. So I mean you could get this done for like, I don't know, under four bucks if you didn't go that route. But I do like this, just in case for the off-road shoots. I think this is going to be nice. So I'm going to put some holes in the side here. So many inches, I haven't figured that out, just so I got something to put down for zip ties or uh, tie downs or bungee cords or something, something to secure it with. Make it just a little more versatile. So, yeah, if you got drill press, it makes life easy. If not, grab your hand drill, be steady. Watch out what you're drilling under. I'm not going to put a list together on what you need. The idiot guide, obviously, if you're going to drill a hole, you need a freaking drill. Not brain surgery. You're gonna need screws. The only thing that's really up to spec is the 20 thread quarter inch bolts that go into your tripod mount. Other than that, it's really entirely up to you what size screws or nuts or bolts you buy if they're stainless or regular steel. Alright, any questions let me know and I'll uh, put up here video up real quick once I'm done with these and mount them up and take a test drive.